not answering no questions looking like this. I show these questions on my Instagram and my community tab. So if y'all want to be in the next Q and A, be sure to follow me on Instagram and put it at right here, and be sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications so y'all never miss a beat. And with that being said, let's go and get into these questions. Period. Okay, y'all. Per so today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me Q and A, and. I'm gonna be doing a wig install with like very, very, very minimal makeup. Y'all know I can barely do makeup, so it's not gonna be nothing crazy. Right now, I'm gonna just twist my hair back. Let's see. I wanna answer some questions too. Y'all know I had to put my lashes on off camera because <laughs> I'm terrible at that, but let's see. So somebody said, what made you start your lock journey? Before we even get into any of that, I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram and I asked you in my community tab. So if y'all want to be in the next one, be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe, turn on post notifications for everything. So you'll always see when I'm interacting or I'm asking y'all to ask me something, you know what I'm saying? So you can always stay updated and know what's going on. That's number one right there. But, um, yeah, so right now I'm just twisting my hair back. Somebody asked me what made me start my lock journey. And really, I don't know. Like, I've been wanting locks. Like, last year, I started my locks the first time last year, but my hair wasn't long enough yet. Like, and I tell everybody that, but that's the truth. Like, my hair wasn't long enough for me to actually wear my hair like now i actually be wearing my locks out and stuff i mean of course i still be putting my wigs on because who who not finna put on a wig and i like versatility like i like to switch stuff up so yeah but i'm happy i um i just really like y'all know i do hair and stuff like that and i kind of just got tired of doing hair like i got tired of doing my own hair and yeah i like locks more now like it's less maintenance and people be like oh like you still gotta take care of your locks yeah but it's less maintenance than what i was doing like y'all don't understand it takes so much time effort energy all that just to get your hair to look right i can't wait so i'm like really styling my hair like because it's actually kind of cute i never did this with my edges done Usually might just be slicked up, but I'm finna do that right now too. But yeah, like I feel like that's what made me want to start my locks. The fact that doing my hair just kind of got old to me, and no, I don't want to do it anymore. No so this is my foundation. This is what it looks like every time. Today we're gonna be doing a side. It don't be super flat, like. I don't know. Y'all probably gonna notice it don't be super flat, but it is what it is. We be doing what we gotta do. And I'm making a TikTok too, so if the angle be changing, that's why. Somebody asked, do I have a boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend. Um, We've been together for, it's gonna be two years. Well, let me, I be guessing it. I be guessing it so hard. But um, it'll be two years in August, so it's like a year and like six months. I think, I don't know. I don't feel like doing that math. Y'all do the math. Y'all want to know. Let me stop. But yeah, we've been together for like a year and seven, six months, however much. Let me see. I'll just do the math. Been together for a year and five months. Um. Oh yeah, I'm reading the questions off my old phone. This thing is going through. Where do I see myself in five years? So in five years, I'll be 24. I want to be like financially stable by the time I'm 24. Um, own apartment, of course. I'm gonna have my dream car. Y'all know my dream car is a Range Rover. Well, y'all probably don't know that, but I'm telling y'all now, my dream car is a Range Rover. And yeah, that's where I see myself in five years. 
I'm not doing the ball cap method today because I simply just don't feel like it. Well, let me not say I don't feel like it, but I don't have time for that either, if I'm being honest. It is really not flat, but I don't really care. I don't. All right, so let's see what I want this placement like. Someone said, what are my favorite things to do? And my favorite things to do, honestly, are just like watch YouTube videos. Duh, I'm a YouTuber. My favorite things to do is watch YouTube, record videos. Um, I like to take pictures too. I really like to listen to music. Just basic stuff. Like, I like to go out to for myself a fun person. So I like to go out and try new things all the time. I'm trying to get a position right on this wig before I start laying stuff down. But yeah, I like to do basic stuff. Oh my god, I'm not answering no questions looking like this. I'm not, I'm not answering no questions looking like this. Okay, so now that the circulation is being cut off to my brain, I'm gonna answer some more questions. Yeah, I was looking crazy. I could not continue looking the way I was looking. But let's see. Where do I want to go and why? It's a lot of places I want to go. The main place I want to go right now is like Hawaii, Mexico, or like Puerto Rico. Um, I want to go to Africa like really, really bad. The reason I want to go to Africa, y'all know I'm Nigerian. I want to get in touch with my roots for real. That's the main reason I want to go to Africa. And then I want to go to Hawaii and Puerto Rico just to like get a sense of something different. So I want to go there. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get myself right. I want to do a side part this time. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. But I got to see what side I'm going to do it on after I take the scarf off. So, I think right now I'm going to do my makeup. Okay, so somebody asked me, do I like going to do an album? And to be honest, I do like it, like. I feel like that was some of Gunna's good work, you know? Um, I don't listen to Gunna though, so like, if it wasn't, if it wasn't hitting, like, if Gunna could do better, I wouldn't know. But, yeah, like, I feel like, for what I know, it was a good album. And my favorite song on the album would be, like, P-Power or... Yeah, I think that's what it would be. It would be P Power or it would be Push and P. I'm very basic. Or it would be um, the one with Lil Baby in it. I don't know the names, y'all. I only listened to it once. I listened to like, I listened to it once by myself. And then all I know is what my boyfriend played. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, somebody said we can start tutorial. So, I will. I will give y'all one soon. I will give y'all a wig install tutorial soon. I just, I need a new wig so y'all can really see like, this is what I do. Like, I don't wanna um, install, I don't wanna reinstall an old wig. Cause old wigs are always easier to reinstall than a new wig. So, I'm gonna record a tutorial when I get a new one. So right now I just drew my eyebrows and now I'm finna go on with my contour. I mean my not my contour. I'm finna go on with my concealer. Yeah, I have not done my makeup in so long. It's gonna be so fun. But yeah, let's see what someone else asked me. When I style my hair, how long does it take? It really just depends on what I'm doing. So if it's a protective style, those usually take me anywhere from like five to seven hours. And then I love how I said that, like it's just something relatable. Shoot, it probably is. A lot of people doing their own hair now. But um, yeah, like it depends. If I'm doing a protective style, it takes like five to six hours, sometimes seven, sometimes a couple days if like I really didn't want to do it and I kind of just have to. 
it takes a long time if it's in like one of those instances and then what else like i'm trying to think what else um if i'm just selling my natural hair it don't take too long like 20 30 minutes if even that and then with my locks it takes like 10 if even that it don't take long at all to do my hair thoughts on a vaccine i feel like i don't even, i like the vaccine me personally i got the vaccine because i um i don't like wearing masks so and you still really kind of need to wear your mask with the vaccine like it doesn't make you invincible it just makes you less susceptible to catching it but yeah like i would never wear my mask like nine times out of ten you saw me baby the mask was not on and that's why i caught corona and after i caught that jump i was not just out here not wearing my mask no more like i cut all that out because Mm -mm. that was not cute i did not i don't know what it was like i just thought i was invincible i just thought i was so invincible when i got my vaccine like no babe you're not you're not invincible but yeah i feel like it's a good thing okay so i just did my contour i added a little white in it oh, let me blend that out i'm just moving along like but yeah so now i'm gonna blend it out i try to dab it because i saw in a video when somebody said you're supposed to dab my only thing about concealer though is like i don't be trying to put a lot because people say don't use a lot and then i look and i'm like i need some more so now i'm gonna do the most and add how much I was spending in the beginning because I need some more. Let's see what y'all asking me. Someone said, "How are you mentally, and what have what are some things you've been doing to better your mental state?" So I feel like mentally, I'm really good. Like I, I'm chilling, honestly. And some things I've been doing to better my mental state is I just be trying to, how can I put it? Like, I just be trying to take care of myself. Because, you know, you always need a break. And people don't get themselves breaks for real. And I feel like that's when the depression and all that stuff comes in. Like, you just got to let yourself breathe. Take it slow. Like, people be trying to rush through life. See, this work. I don't know. Can I see the difference? I can, shoot. But yeah, like people just be always rushing themselves through life. And I feel like that's why people be so sad all the time. You gotta take your time and enjoy the experience. Another thing I do is I meditate a lot. Well, let me not say a lot. I try to meditate a lot, but right now I just do it like every morning, anywhere from like five to ten minutes. I go outside. And just trying to get some meditations in because, babe, that's what you need. Like, you got to take care of yourself, your mind. And really, a lot, I feel like a lot of people are scared of, like, meditation and stuff like that. But really, you just sitting by yourself and letting your mind be clear. That's all it is, like. You don't even, you don't have to do the most. It don't have to be no big thing. You just sitting and self, not even self-reflecting, but you just letting your mind be clear. So, yeah, I like, I like meditating. I feel like that's been helping me. I also been journaling and just, you know, doing all the things, all the that girl things self-care things you know all that all that but yeah i feel like i'm messing with the energies oh i forgot to blend out my chin crazy 
it's looking pretty good though for me i'm this one random amount of cotton we're going in cotton let's just take a minute and get it all together this one line of contour we're going to ignore because I didn't blend out my concealer yet before I started trying to do that. So we're just going to pretend it's not there. Yeah, I feel like all those things together have been helping me maintain my mental my mental health like, and take care of myself. Because when I'm feeling some type of way, when I had a bad day or anything like that, instead of just ignoring the feelings or not telling nobody. Because I'm that type of girl to just keep it to myself and not tell nobody. I be trying to, um, well, how can I say it? Like, I be trying to self reflect, like, okay, how did that make me feel? Like, what are we gonna do to make, like, say, and then sometimes when I don't accomplish all the things I want to or I'm beating myself up, I be like, okay, so what's the problem? Like, what did we do wrong? Where did we go wrong with this? And how are we gonna make it better? That's what I always do with myself. And I feel like it works, like, journaling, meditating and just giving myself time like just taking my time with everything i feel like that's been helping with my mental state because i've been great and i've been doing that and i've been great someone said what's my favorite pictures i posted last year i'm gonna pop them on the screen if you don't follow me on instagram go follow me on instagram right now right now do it just do it period favorite songs right now I don't even, I don't even know. Okay, we're going to say P-Power. It's not, it's not called P-Power, but that's what we going to call it, okay? But, um, yeah, I feel like that's one of my favorite songs right now. I'm finna contour. Is it even? Not really, but, like, then I think about it, am I even? <laughs> I just be talking. But yeah, I like P Power. Um, what's another song? I'm trying to think like what's my go to. I like it's a song by Nudie called Slime Ball. And it's super old, but I just like came across it again and I love that song. Yeah. I really like that song right now. Like anytime I get in my car, I put that on. Um, what's another song I like a lot? I really don't know. Y'all, like, I listen to music, but I listen to the same three songs. Y'all know Thug dropped, like, last year, the, towards the end of last year. And that's all. Like, I listen to that. I listen to Star Baby. I really, like, I just listen to the same stuff over and over. And then we're going to go in with our bronzer. And really with bronzer, I just like to do the most because it just adds so much to me. I think I want to get into like using cream contours and stuff like that because I like dewy makeup, but powder makeup is not going to make you look dewy. It's just not. And that's okay. It's okay to be honest with yourself. I don't like it's I have like three lights right now and one of my lights keeps turning off and it's making me so mad but that's okay I'm gonna keep turning it back on because it just gives like doesn't it just give we need that light we need it but um let's see my circulation Whew. it's time to take this week then off but I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish my makeup that's best believe um goals this year i just want to stay active on all my social medias that's like one of my big ones and i want to i want to reach new numbers like i want to start collaborating more and just you know do more things i want to do more things like i really want to step into my social media career this year because that's what I really want to do in life. And I want, I want to focus on my businesses as well because, you know, a girl got to get paid. So that's really a lot of what I want to do this year. And then mentally, I want to journal more and be on my stuff more when it comes to like 
um, spirituality and stuff like that. So yeah, I feel like those are my real, my only real goals. Oh, I also want to get a new car. I want to get a new car and I want to tone up my body because y'all like, I just know if I started lifting, if I started lifting weights, oh yes, I would be that girl. Okay. It has to come off. It has to. Oh no. Please don't be stuck. Oh my god, y'all. Okay, this is what we gonna do. Oh my god. It just be so tight. Hold on, let me see if I can find my comb. Cause I'ma need it. Okay. Don't you wonder? Oh no. I thought I put my wig too far over. Yeah, because it's not all the way over here, but it's all the way. It's on my ear a little bit over here. It's just going to have to be because I'm not, I'm not. That's all I got to say. I'm not, I'm not. Um, let's see. What's next? I feel like current shows I'm watching. Um, I'm watching Daredevil right now. Y'all know my boyfriend got me into... Well, y'all don't... I keep saying y'all know. Y'all don't know. Y'all haven't seen me in a long time. But my boyfriend got me into Marvel movies. And so... Um, Daredevil became canon in the MCU. And now I'm watching Daredevil. So I can, like, know who he is as a character. So if I see him in, like, any upcoming movies, I know what's up. I know what's going on. What else am I watching right now? I think that's it. I'm not watching too, too much. Because I don't really have time. I'm a YouTube girl. So, like, I be moving in cycles of, like... I be moving in cycles of, like, YouTube and Netflix and stuff like that. So, right now, I'm on my YouTube wave. I'll probably get back on Netflix later, but not right now, because I'm a YouTube girl. Mm -hmm. Is that... I think that's it for the phase. I do think that's it for the phase. Oh, no, I'm lying. I'm lying so bad right now. Um, I'm going to add some highlighter. And then now that I'm about done with my facial features i'm gonna plug up my hot comb so highlighter i'm using this la colors beauty pot oh this is eyeshadow but it's gonna be highlighter today yeah i'm really just gonna mix them all eyeshadow applicators y'all i love these a lot of people they hate these but i love them because they you do what you gotta do i'm gonna take some blush and i'm gonna go in if someone asked me where do i shop for clothes and that is a real good question because I feel like a lot of people be kind of stingy with where they shop. And I don't even shop at, like, good places for real. But, um, Blush Mark has really nice clothes. Um, I shop at Shein, too. Um, I know you can find really nice stuff on Amazon, AliExpress, Pretty Little Thing, um, sometimes Fashion Nova, not always, because... 
fashion over don't always give me what needs to be gave but yeah those are just some of the places but yeah i like to stick to what i know because y'all know i'm a thicker girl so i don't really be trying to just shop out like that because folks don't be their sizing is weird it's always something basically is what i'm trying to say it's always something when you're trying to shop at different places i stick to what i know so now i'm gonna go on my setting spray and set all the makeup i just did i'm trying to catch it all girl really i feel like the setting spray might make it do I just let's get into how my face matched the vibe period as it should because a lot of folks <coughs> a lot of folks be dark skin and doing light skin makeup like babe be who you are be who you are all that um oh yeah i'm gonna do my lips now i know a lot of people they be like stacking lip liner and like different colors of lip gloss i don't do all that because i don't have all those materials but yes y'all i'm trying to get on the train someone said confidence tips and to be really really frank it's i have no tips girl you just gotta fake it till you make it really honestly and truthfully see that's what i'm talking about like that's racist that i did that really i think i just broke my lace but still either way it go that is racist but it will it will still look right but yeah you just gotta fake it till you make it because that's what i did like when it comes to confidence if you at like you're the baddest thing in the world. People gonna treat you like you're the baddest thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta just fake it till you make it. Try to act the part, look the part. You know? Like, what helped me was I thought about, like, what my confident self would look like. What does she wear? What does she... How does she act? Like, how does she respond to things? You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought about all that stuff, and I applied it, and boom. Here's my confident self. You see, and everybody treats me the way I want to be treated as far as, like, confidence because that's how I present myself. Like, babe, you're not going to play with me. And you're not, period. Like, that's just how that's just how you got to present yourself. Let's see. The, the makeup is busy. Y'all, I'm so happy I did my makeup because it looks good. Like, I haven't done my makeup in so long. I'm trying to become one of the makeup girlies. Maybe not every day, but like when I'm finna go out, when I need to look cute, you know. Um, hardest parts about high school. I feel like the hardest part is like staying on top of everything you gotta do. Because I had that problem too. Well, I had that problem too. But it's just, you just gotta fake it till you, why do I keep saying that? It's, it's really the truth to life though. You just gotta fake it till you make it at like you got everything out of control and it's gonna be fine and eventually it will be fine. But yeah, the hardest part of high school is really just staying on top of all your stuff. Like you have so much to do when you're in high school and I feel like parents often be under, what's the word? It's not underappreciating, but it's um downplaying the workload that high schoolers have. Like it takes a lot of energy to wake up at like six in the morning get ready go to school and then sit in two hour long classes for the whole day like it takes a lot of energy to do that and then come home and do work and study and then do it all again and then you want to balance your real life like i i just said that to validate your feelings sis. like whatever you're going through with high school you're gonna get through it period just keep pushing like that, that's really the motto. Just keep pushing. Like, even when stuff is looking low, when it's looking bleak, you still got it. You still, you still got it. You still gonna get it done, period. Okay, so someone else asked me, how do I stay motivated 
and I feel like the way that I stay motivated is I know what I want and really it takes it takes a while to get to that point too because even sometimes just knowing what you want where you want to be don't be enough because it still I don't know it still just feels like okay but when am I finna really get to where I want to be you know what I'm saying so I just had to I don't know you kind of just got to ace out your old mindset and start thinking like the new you would think and that will help you stay motivated like just knowing everything I'm doing I'm doing for a purpose like I have reasons for everything that I'm doing everything I'm trying to accomplish and I'm you know like I know where I want to be and so that's what keeps me going I'm finna I think I still need this just run through it a couple more times you feel me I'm a Last time I did this, I burnt my shoulder, so I'm kind of traumatized. I kind of got PTSD a little bit. So scared. I'm getting close to the fingers, so I think I'm done. But I'm gonna do my edges while the flat iron warms up. Somebody asked me, Disney, Nick, or Cartoon Network? And I feel like the answer is Cartoon Network. It always has been, it always will be. If not Cartoon Network, then Nick. I feel like old Disney was talking about some, but soon as Disney Channel, like, I don't know, certain stuff they took off, or they took that off, it was kind of over. Okay. So, now we can start doing what we do. I kind of want this to be like a little swoop, something like that. Cause it don't, I don't want it molded, glued to my forehead, like no. And then we'll just do some little pretty curls. Curls for the girls, is it still hot? I saw this TikTok hack that was like, let's see if it works. I should, should give it up. I don't even know why I wasted my time and energy. Do we have any more questions? Someone said, who's the most annoying out of my sisters? And I feel like everyone has their moments. I don't really want to call any of my sisters annoying. Because that is not so nice. But yeah, I feel like everybody has their moments. Even my damn mama, like everybody has their moments. Annoying. and then someone also asked what's my favorite disney channel tv show and movie so my favorite tv show would probably be andy mack because Andy Mac was a really good show. Actually, Disney Channel was still good around the time Andy Mac came out. I'm trying to think, like, it was like around the Girl Meets World time that I stopped watching. Did Andy Mac come out before or after that? I really don't know. Ow! I just clamped my hand in this. Okay. But yeah, like. I don't have super high preferences. Oh yeah, and then my favorite Disney movie is Mulan. I love Mulan, it's such a good film. It's a great film actually. A coming of age story, let me stop. But yeah, I love Mulan. 
burning y'all I'm having a hard time if the curls curling cause if the curls ain't curling then I'm gonna just do a simple little flip they're not the curls is not curling sis the curls is not curling. Are they? They're not. They're not. So I'm going to do a nice little flip up and call it a day. Especially since I think those are all the questions. Let me double check. Yep, those are all the questions. So I'm going to do a simple flip up. I'm trying to see like what all should be behind this ear i think all this and then i could take this yeah this looks about right to me should i like i don't know should i pull it down some she said I'm really getting back to my roots because it's like my favorite hairstyle to do. Ooh, don't burn me. is the final look is it giving face is it is it giving face yeah it is it is this is the final look i hope y'all liked it if y'all want me to do more get ready with me if y'all want me to do like more face fits and take y'all on my journey of learning how to do makeup let me know because i do want to do more makeup so if y'all if y'all want me to get on here and start really acting up let me know because y'all know i feel myself but yeah 
so that is the end of this video if you made it this far i want you to drop i want you to drop the emoji that like this because that's how i'm feeling right now i just did that i just laid my face i want y'all to comment that emoji and i'm gonna shout y'all out in my next video and with that being said like comment subscribe because i'm popping and more videos coming out there and that's it